Hi! Oh my god, I'm doing an April favorites video. I haven't done one of these since January. That's a long time. Long time. Anyway, if you hear any noises, they're probably coming from my parents who are watching a movie. Um, so let's just get right into this. First of all, I look very nice today. It's very my, like, my no makeup makeup type of look. I'm just wearing a little bit of lip gloss, some like minimal eyeshadow, no liner. Did my brows, obviously, because you know you gotta you gotta get those on fleek, on fleek. Anyway, so let's get into it. I have one flop also because, yeah. Um, so my favorite foundation, uh, right at, for this month is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just itched my nose. There's like a little itch there. Mm, okay, it's a Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, this is an amazing, very full coverage foundation. As you can see, I'm having like some breakouts up here. And like this has really helped um, cover them because girl, girl boy, boy, girl boy, boy, boy got some skin issues. And, you know, want to look flawless. So um, I'm in the cover N140. I think the name of it is like Vanilla. Um... And I like that it has a pump, and um, it's just the packaging is really nice, and it's like a very full coverage foundation. This is like my go-to full coverage foundation. Um, so, as for concealer, I don't have a favorite concealer right now, but I do have this concealer palette from Sonia Kashuk. As you can see, I'm like, this is done. This is done. This is done. And this has like a very noticeable dent, and so does that. Um, I use this one to cover blemishes if I'm wearing a lighter foundation. I use this on my eyes, um, just like on the lid mostly, and in the inner corners. And then the green, used to, obviously I used that to cover redness, and I sometimes use the power to set, although not usually. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I probably won't repurchase it just because like I want to try other things, but it's really good drugstore foundation, I mean concealer option. Um, so for blush, I've really been liking this NYX cream blush. Um, it's kind of broken like the, the, this part of like the cap fell off and I can't get it back on so. Um, but it's a really nice cream blush. It's a lot darker than the, the camera showing. Oh, my dad could not find that. My dad was supposed to help me find a video, like find a video camera that's somewhere in this house that we bought him a while ago, but he never used, and he can't find it. So I'm probably just gonna end up having to buy my own. But anyway, it's quite a bit darker than the camera shows. Um, the color is hot pink. So I'm gonna swatch it for you. And that's what it looks like on my skin. Um, it's kind of shimmery, but I like that. Um, it's for when I really want to add a pop of color. I have other blushes I use, you know, for every day, but I really like this one um, for just like adding that pop, you know, if I'm looking extra pale or something. Um, for bronzer, I have this Park Avenue Princess palette, um, and I don't really like the highlight shade. I just, it's kind of weird. I just don't like it that much. I mean, That's what it looks like. It's kind of too shimmery for me. I really prefer, and it's also just like this one color. I don't like the color of it that much. Um, but I really, I really prefer my soft and gentle or like banana power from my Anastasia palette, which is also a favorite this month. Um, but I love this bronzer. Like it's such a nice, like it's not shimmery. It's very matte. It's such a nice color for people with like medium skin tones just it's beautiful i love it love it love it love it does it make you look muddy no and this is also in this palette i have a blush it's not a favorite but i do use this blush um on days where i just kind of like am popping on a color um then uh for eyes i have two products I know I'm like reaching over here. It's weird. Um, I have this NYC uh, 
City Proof 24 Hour Crayon. Um, I love this. As you can see, I mean, there's a lot left, but like, I've used this quite a bit. Especially when I did a zombie makeup look um, for my school zombie prom. I'll probably insert a picture of that somewhere over here. Um, but yeah, this was a really great color when I did that. And it's just a really nice formula. And it's like $1, which is the best part about it. Um, so if you need a, like a new cream eyeshadow and you want a, like a color, go pick this up. Um, the other thing is the L'Oreal Voluminous. Um, with, it has a curved brush. Um, so I heard Jessica on Jamberry Beauty talk about the L'Oreal Voluminous mascara. And my um, Lash Blast from... Uh, CoverGirl had just run out, so I was like, oh my god, a new, new, new mascara. And so I accidentally picked up the curved one instead of the regular one. So you see it has the curve. But I actually really like it. It makes my lashes look really wispy and kind of fanciful, and I, I like that a lot. So, you know what? I'm not sad that I, I picked up the wrong one. I'm okay with it. Um, and then for my lip product favorite, I have one lip product favorite. And that is this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Backstage Bambi. Oh my god, not only is the formula amazing, which I know everybody on YouTube has talked about, but I just love the color. Like, such a nice bright pink. This is the only liquid to matte um, uh, lipstick I own, and I really want to get more colors of it. I also want to try the Rimmel Show Offs because I heard that's a good like drugstore option if you're looking for one. Um, so that, you can't, it probably won't dry on my hand, but that's what it looks like swatched. It's this bottom one right there. Um, so yeah. Um, now for like non-beauty favorites. Um, I recently received a subscription of Elf from my work, a uh, sponsored event called Design on a Dime, which was, um, basically like. It, a million interior designers come and they make these little boxes called vignettes and they like put all these products together um, and they sell them and then the all the money goes to our organization which is called Housing Works. Housing Works is a nonprofit which donates all of its proceeds to um, helping New Yorkers with HIV needs get medical care and housing. Um, and they, I'm really proud to work there. Like, I love working there. But, yeah, so we had this event. And one of our sponsors was Elle Decor, um, which is, you know, an offshoot of Elle. So I got the magazine. And I've really been enjoying reading it. This is March's issue, and it has Katy Perry on the cover. Um, you know, it just has lots of pretty pictures and stuff. And I like to cut out pictures from the magazines to, you know, whatever. Um... So, yeah, that's a non-beauty favorite. What else? Movie. I haven't really seen any movies recently, honestly, because it's been crazy with school. Um, I really want to see The Avengers. Like, that's, like, my main movie I want to see right now. But I kind of want to wait until it's been out for a little while and then go see it. Because, like, honestly, like, you know, it's going to be crowded. Um, music. Oh, my God. Enjoying Future Hearts by All Time Low. All Time Low is my favorite band, if you didn't know. Yes, I have really bad taste in music, but I don't care. I know no other 20-year-old really loves them as much as I do, but I don't care. I'm going to see them in, like, two weeks. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Ermagerd. Oh, Ermagerd. Oh, um, my favorite song on that album probably has to be... Um, something's gotta give. If you've not seen the music video for that, you should. It's so funny. I'll probably link it in the damn bar. Um, and music, movies, music. Um, I haven't done have any skincare favorites because honestly, like, all my skincare is kind of, like, not very good right now, as you can see from, like, the breakouts, so I'm trying to decide to get new things, so I'm actually going to go shopping at Sephora. I have two more videos to film, um, and they'll be filmed, like, super soon, um, an empties video and a, uh, haul video, which will be fucking giant, because I have so many new things that I've been saving to do a haul for. Um, 
Oh, I have a brush favorite. Uh, I don't have it here because, see, I like have half of my stuff at school and half of my stuff at home, and I'm like in the process of bringing everything home for the summer, but like I haven't done that yet. So, um, but it's a Morphe G7 brush, and like it was in my um, Subway vlog video, but I'll like put put a picture of it here. And um, I'm pretty sure that's it. I mean, another favorite of mine is obviously this city. I'm living in New York. It's amazing. Um, but and guys you guys are my favorites um you know my last video um is is doing all right but i really am really trying to bump it out bump out more videos get this channel going i really want to do that um and once i think once i have a captive audience it'll be easier for me to say hey like let's talk about more important topics you know um let's talk about let's talk about things i'm passionate about like judaism and social activism and other kinds of stuff like that so um, yeah, uh, I guess this is kind of a short video. Oh, my flop. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the color Ginger, which is medium too. It's a little too dark for me, but that's not the problem with this. The problem with this is that it's oily. It's very oily. Like, super oily. And I can't do it. I can't, can't do it. I actually bought a lighter color of this to see if it would do better on me, but now I'm realizing the reason why I hate it is not because it's lighter. And not because it's too dark, it's because of the formula, and so I'm going to return it. Um, so, yeah, I just really hate this a lot. But I've been trying to use it all up. Um, if you watch YouTube, um, Pretty Pistol, I think her num the number is like 82 or something. I don't know, just search Pretty Pistol. I'll probably put a link below. But um, she she does these videos where she's trying to like pan that palette or like weekly makeup up fast they try to use like up all the extra beauty products that she has and so that 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 made me feel like I should probably use up all of this just like I'm trying to use up like this entire palette before I put it away even though like I don't really use the green one that much because I'm not very very red and like I could just throw this away right now but I wanna at least pan the lighter color before I throw it away so that's she's an inspiration to me i guess she's a youtube favorite for this month um so yeah it's been great talking to you guys uh, and i'll see you in the next video bye 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 oh rate no not rate comment like subscribe comment like subscribe now bye bye bye, bye. hey guys i just got home from school um, and i'm not filming in my room right